are you guys this afternoon? Happy Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yes, Mom. It's Thursday. April the 2nd. We're in a new month. We apologize for not coming on earlier in the day. I know last night I posted we were going to be on mid-morning, but uh, it has been a day. Huh? It has been a day. You know those days you wake up and just want to go back to bed? <laughs> Hi, Miss Danielle. Miss Danielle. Already. Miss Danielle is always with us, isn't she? That's awesome. Anyway, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lois with Ellie Grace's Attic, and we take old treasures and give them new life with handcrafted love. And we have been coming on uh, live most days to share with you our creative time, our quarantine creative time. And um, this week, however, I think our last video, was it Saturday that we did the flower press? What day was that? We think it was Saturday. Um, wave to Miss Danielle. She's saying hi. Mm -hmm. um, hi. Anyway, Saturday, I think we did flower press for you guys. But this week, technically, is the kids' spring break. This is when they would have been off for spring break. You guys see everything? You see our school books back there. Um, this was the week that would have been their time off from school. So we are not doing school work and we really didn't do a structured, creative time to share with you guys this week. We just kind of have been taking it easy, right, Bob? It's like uh, for fun. For fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it wasn't a scheduled uh, creative time or art time for school kind of a deal. So that's why we're just now coming on on Thursday. So we apologize. Um, but we do have a fun little craft to share with you today. Yes, sir. On this Saturday is Nana's birthday. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Jordan. He's always looking out for me. <laughs> Hello, Miss Kim. Hey, Miss Kim. Okay, you be in charge of the um I the will. comments, okay? And I was always. You were always. Thank you, Bub. Definitely always taking care of me. Okay, so I am cutting some paper out. What we're doing today is we have a uh, clothespin, which. I always have these um, on hand for crafts or different things, um, but you can buy a pack of these. You can get them. This came, I think, from Walmart. You can get them from the dollar store. They're like a dollar two for like, there's uh, 50 in here. Okay, and I actually, what we're making today, I actually have this listed on the shop. It's an item in, um, in our Etsy store. Um, it's clothespin magnets. That's what we're making. They're fridge magnets, but we have other uses for them, and we're going to show you how to do them two different ways. So, um, yes, sir? Hey, guys, can't forget Nana's B-Day. Um, thank you, guys, for bringing out the fact that I'm turning another year older. Um, anyway, so we're going to make some fun stuff with this. So, like I said, you can get these for a couple of uh, dollars. You can order them or, you know, any Dollar General store. If you can't get out, though, they are available online. I happen to have those. We've just been pulling uh, odds and ends from our stash of craft supplies. And so that's what we're doing today. I have a bunch of scrap paper that I pulled out again. And what I did for this project, we're going to use Mod Posh. So, we've got clothespins. Pay, any decorative paper that you have. You could do this with wrapping paper. You could do it, I think we talked about funny papers. It works best though, because you're covering such a small surface, is if you have a smaller pattern, like that one, and like this is little tiny polka dots. So the smaller the pattern, the better it's gonna be. Um, so what I did, I just flipped my paper over Again, this is super technical, right? And I took one clothespin, I laid it down, making sure that it's butt up with the corner, and then I just took a pencil and traced the outline. You'll see I already traced a couple. I don't know, the light's kind of crazy here. Whoop, whoop. Can you see that? No. They can't see it. Anyway, it's you'll see that I already started cutting one, so that might work see it the pencil marks so all I did was trace them out 
And then what I did was I cut, we have a couple already cut. I cut out the first one, laid it on top of our clothespin and kind of just trimmed it to size. And then I used that one as the template for the rest of them. So we're gonna cut those out here. And if you get it onto your clothespin and it's still not the right size, you can just take your scissors and trim it up. There's no exact science. This is just how I do it. Just kind of eyeballing it as we go. Yes, sir. Hashtag Coke. Oh, Jordan's. We did happy hour today at Sonic, and it has been amazing. We had to um, go to town to pick up some groceries for our parents who are elderly and do not need to be in the store. So my husband and I got out for that, mm -hmm. and. I played on my tablet the whole time. Jordan got to play on his tablet the whole time, so he was super excited about extra media time. And um, our teenager was in charge, so there you go. And we brought back happy hour drinks for everybody. All right, so we have those trimmed out. So I've got a little stack of papers right here we're gonna use. And are you ready to glue, bud? I, I can open it. This is so hard to open. <laughs> So I'm just using uh, Mod Podge again, something I had on hand. You can get this at walmart.com, Hobby Lobby, uh, and most dollar stores. Um, or if you don't have this, Elmer's glue will do the trick, okay? We're just gonna pour a little bit of this out on a little plate. We're not gonna need much. I can't wait to give you your birthday present. You can't. Which it will be tomorrow. Okay. But because I'm excited. I can't wait to get presents either. All right. So now, are you going to glue one? Sure. Are you doing the orange polka dots? Uh, the gold one? I'm going to do this color pretty. It's got Easter spring colors in it. I'm guessing. So. I think I know what to do. I'm going to take just a little bit of glue, bub. You don't have to have a lot. Just kind of dip your glue. Your, uh, we're using sponges. Okay. And we're just going to brush the glue. Okay, I was confused. I was like, do I put it on, on the uh, paper We're, or the... I'm going to show you, bud. We're going to do both. You kind of glue down the top of your clothespin first and lay that down. You're just going to take your little strip of paper, put it on top of your clothespin all the way to the edge, kind of where you want it. Kind of line it up with one side. I see I'm going to have to trim this piece a little bit. Get it on there. I'm not my Line hands. it up. It doesn't have to be perfect because we can trim it and um, we're going to sand it too. My All hands right. are not that precise and uh, You steady. know what? I think it's beautiful. My hands are not very steady. No. And I'm going to trim this. Unfortunately, the clothespins, I mean, they were only a buck. So they're not, they're mostly the same size, but not. Perfect. Not all of them. Perfect. Did you press it down? Oh. Kind of press it down. <gasps> See, I'm just trimming off just the edges. And it's okay. It does not have to be perfect because we're going to kind of sand it a little bit here and there. That's end. perfect. Perfect. You know what? That is perfect. We do have to snip off a little bit right there, though. Oh. It's, a, it's not even uh, a, uh, it's not even a millimeter. A millimeter. Not even a millimeter. I guess. I don't even know how tiny is a millimeter. Half of a centimeter. It's been a long time since I... Half of a centimeter. All right. And a centimeter is about that big. So this is the first part. You'll see we have them covered. I, the lighting is not the best. I'm sorry. I'm going to bring it in. They're covered like that. Oh, I can see them. the... I can see mine. So, okay. so these are mine. Yep. Not trying to brag. <laughs> All right. Let me trim that up. Hashtag no offense. You're cracking me up, Jordan. All right, so now we're going to take a little bit more glue and then just glue the top down. Kind of look at Nana. You kind of do the along the edges. We're going to come alongside the side of it to kind of get under it a little bit, make sure it's sealed down. And you just brush the top of it. Now, you know how you said uh, you cracked me up? Yes. You're not an egg, and I did not crack 
do it. And even if you were, I did not. I never cracked Silly. an egg in my life. I meant you make me laugh. I know. I know. You know. I was You're being just, sarcastic. You were being sarcastic. I don't believe that for a second. Okay. Right. Uh, I was. I was. Do what I did. Brush the top of your clothespin to I get was, it. Um. I was taking figurative. I need a, a beverage drink. What are y'all doing today? Tell us what you're up to on this Thursday afternoon. Yay. I was By doing... the way, cranberry slush It's the way to go if you're going to do Sonic Happy Hour, I'm just saying. Oh, by the way, Nana said that she did not like Maddie's Dr. Pepper. Oh, yeah, I accidentally took a sip of Dr. Pepper. No offense to all you Dr. Pepper drinkers. All right. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Well, that might be a little too much. Okay. We don't want to have an excess of glue. You just want yeah. to kind of glaze the top with the glue. Can I just say I love glue? I like to play in glue. <gasps> play in glue? <gasps> yeah, when you can get glue on your fingers, it's a good day. Kim Hill, yum. I know, that's because Kim Hill's got good taste, doesn't she? She's talking about the this cranberry slush. Uh. Okay, so we're going to move. Move your drink over there, please. Oh. All right. Wait a minute. Well, she's saying, yum. We're going to let this dry a minute. We're going to let it dry. It dries pretty fast, so we're going to do that. We'll put this over to the side and let that dry just a mm -hmm. second. And we're going to show them the one with the tape. I, yes, sir. I have a question. Did yes. she mean yum of the cranberry slush or the Dr. Pepper? Miss Kim, Jordan feels like you need to be specific. Was that yum for the cranberry slush or the Dr. Pepper? I'm pretty sure it was for the cranberry slush, but. but Honestly, I think it is too. <laughs> All right. Um, I also had in my craft stash, and you can get this. I think you can get this tape now at the dollar store, uh, Dollar Tree, anywhere that they have craft sections, and you can also get it online. Um, I had uh, wasabi tape. Um, at least I think that's what it's still called. And then this was a package of um, craft tape that I got at Hobby Lobby. It all came together several years ago. And so again, it's just something that was in my stash. So um, we're gonna do that. If you don't have craft tape and you don't have access to any, if you have duct tape, this would work. If you had, um, you could make that work. Because um, they sell, did you know that they sell decorative duct tape too? Um, which that reminds me of another craft. One time we covered our daughter's, or my daughter covered her Bible with camouflage duct tape. Um, it was an old paperback Bible. Um, anyway, so I digress. I'm thinking about different things you could use if you don't have this. Duct tape would work. You just have to trim it, of course and electrical tape that comes in different colors. If you have that on hand, you could use that too. And just let the kids, you know, they could draw on it. They could add embellishments, glue the little buttons or different rhinestones or whatever, however they want to decorate it. And these are really cute. We're making magnets, but I, in fact, I have some on my fridge right now. They're great for magnets on the fridge to hold um, photos or notes grocery list they're great we have a um chicken wire bulletin board in our kitchen uh, for the kids artwork and notes from school and that sort of thing so it works great for that um or i've given them um if you do a gift basket or some type of gift they're great to hold the bow on and the name tag and then the folks, whoever the recipient is, can take it off and use them on their fridge, kind of a deal. They're just a cute way to dress things up as well. Um, and bookmark, you can use this as a bookmark too. I don't know if I said that one, but. Um, did you read uh, Ken Hale's comment about, uh, yes, the cranberry slush, but I, but I do love Dr. Pepper. Yes, I did. Okay. Nana can't drink sodas anymore. I stopped drinking sodas a couple years ago, and I have not looked back. The only exception would be when I don't feel well. I like a um, cranberry limeade from Sonic. You do a lot. Did you know that um, that um, uh, when you drink Dr Pepper, you're basically drinking acid. 
You know what? That is true. Soda has a lot of acid in it. Because you can just feel the burns go down your throat. That's true. Which I'm drinking Coke right now, but uh, this one was in the refrigerator, so it's not burning. It's the, not. Right. Does that make a difference if it's a cold, cold soda? Okay, so all I did with my tape was cover my clothespin, same <laughs> concept, just kind of <laughs> pressed it down, and I'm going to cut at the bottom. So after this, it's going to be me? Yep. Yeah. And then I'm going to trim the excess off. Does it matter which uh, side? No. Okay. It does not matter whichever side you decide on. Luckily, this can be adjusted because it's tape. Awesome. <gasps> okay, can I just say I love this gold glitter tape. Like, I don't know about you guys. Even I like it. Glitter is life. I mean, I love some sparkle. I don't think you can ever have enough sparkle. I mean, a girl can't, but... A girl can't. Well... But I can. This is true. Okay, which one should I use? What? There's kind of a wavy pattern. I've already done the big polka dots. There's this arrow triangle thing. There's some diagonal stripes and some straight stripes. Which one should I use? Whichever one. You pick. It's a tough decision. I like this one. This one? Good it looks choice. it looks hypnotizing. <laughs> you mean hypnotizing? Yes. Okay. I'm trying to find the end. Okay, there it is. Glitter is bomb. Yes, it is. Hello, Miss Rhonda, by the yes, way. Yes, yes. And I can oh wait, I need the scissors. Hey Rhonda. I need the scissors. The scissors. How are y'all holding up in um Louisiana, Rhonda. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, way. I'm just taking... This tape is a little um, more narrow than the gold tape. So, I'm just actually running. You can do any kind of pattern that you want. Just kind of play with it. Go crazy. So, I'm just kind of going to go down the center of my clothespin. Maybe if I can get it in the right spot. Hold it. Oh, did I mess up? I don't think so, but I totally messed up. Why do you say that? Because look at this. I can't. Just kind of press it down. Do you need help with the scissors? Yes. Okay, hold on. You didn't mess up, them. Okay. Okay, don't poke yourself, please. All right. These are kind of big scissors for you, so. Hey, um, okay, Miss Rhonda said everything is good here. Hey, Miss Kim, would you say glitter is bomb? Or glitter is nuclear reaction. <laughs> like a nu atomic bomb. Bomb or atomic bomb? I feel like maybe I should have put a disclaimer at the beginning that um, you never know what's going to happen on live with Jordan and Lois or what's going to be said. <laughs> oh, I love you, Bubba. Because I have an unlimited brain. <laughs> One day of quarantine, is it? Somebody tell me, Gwen. <laughs> We're having fun, though, aren't we, Jordan? We're expecting that. What all have we done? A lot. What all have we done in our creative times? Guess what Jordan sang. Baba. Did you hear me? Do you remember what all have we done so far in our creative time during quarantine? Okay, I'll give you a hint, and uh -huh. then you have to say the thing that we did. Okay. Baba. This thing is not cooperating. Hold on, we got a crazy clothespin. It's kind of deformed. Bawa. But Nana, look, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's been that kind of day. Nana, it's not gonna get clues. You're just gonna have to say it out loud. Bawa salt runner? What? The Bawa, the Bawa? Oh, so the car that we did a, we built. <laughs> Y'all, it's been, I even took a little nap. It's been that kind of day. All right, here's your thing. It just took me a minute because um, that one was kind of shaped weird. We did a kit. It was a robot car kit that we got at Hobby Lobby a couple weeks ago. And it ran on a saltwater battery, which was really cool. Hi, Miss Gracie. We got it to run for a little bit. Yeah, like one second. 
Yeah, we followed directions, but it didn't run for that long. Um, okay. What else have we done? We did. Okay, I'm going to do the next set. Okay, I'm going to try to be better. Okay. Give me a clue. I'm going to try to guess. Wait, I need to drink a slush for this. Go. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure you're only going to get a brain freeze. Okay, so. Crayon? We did crayon rubbing. Yes, Where okay. we use different objects in the house. Yes, These are okay. all over in our Facebook video section or they're on our YouTube um, page if you want to check them out. What else do we do? Um, I need to think for one. Um, we did the magic bean picture. <gasps> book? We did bookmarks. They came out really cute, too. We what did. Else? We did butter. Oh, we did butterflies. That was the first one we did. They're oh, still okay. hanging on our front porch. We <gasps> clipped them onto our screen. Okay. Our, not screen, swing. Mm -hmm. What else? Words are hard. Sun. Mm -hmm. We painted sun catchers. They're right there. I they're just right looked there. there. Yep, they're on our I just, room window. I just look right there, and I and then I remembered. What else? Mm -hmm. Oh, we built a carpenter bee trap. Yeah. But we didn't do a live on that. Sorry. Oh, uh, okay. But we did okay. share pictures, and we shared the directions of the lady we found on YouTube instructions to build that trap. What else? I did. <gasps> Tractor. Oh, Jordan painted a tractor sign live. He showed y'all how to paint a sign. Rhonda, I'm glad y'all are doing good in Louisiana. We're praying for you guys, um, for everyone. All right, so this is our glitter. This was glitter tape and just some one of those patterns that I had. This one was striped, and I did this one two earlier polka dots my favorite so these oh. will be like a set if you want to purchase these we can make these uh we sell them in sets of four or we might give away the ones we're making today i, I don't those. know sprinkle the love send this video to somebody that you think might be interested in doing clothespin magnets and maybe you want to draw somebody and give away our clothespin magnet the magnets and send it to them okay Okay, now I'm going to show you how we make these magnets. Um, okay, so whoever uh, posts the most comments will... <laughs> That's, how about if we just, they share it and then we'll put their name in the hat. That might be easier than okay. that. Okay, if you share this video, we'll put your name in a hat. And then if you get drilled, you'll get a close pin magnet. How about a set of four? A set of four, yeah. We'll do this cute little bright Easter set that's kind of I, I got to all it the out. bright Easter colors, and we'll do a gold and black set. No. How about that? No, I don't want gold and black. Or just gold. We'll do a sparkle set, and we'll no. do an Easter set. How about that? No, I want purple and gold. Oh, LSU. I'd have to find purple paper, though, Bo. We'll find. We'll figure it out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, just a little extra touch, is I have a sanding block. Um, if you don't have one of these, sandpaper would work. Um, we're no. just trying to get something that's a little abrasive. And I'm just going to kind of rub it alongside the edges to just kind of distress the paper a little bit and really... What, Mom, can you do this? I can I it's too narrow. Can. It's too narrow. Oh, this is a cute little arrow pattern. Thank you. Okay, let me start here on this end. No. This isn't even, so what about... <laughs> Baby, I don't need a wind of clothespins. I'm making them. If I want some, I can just make some. No, them. Oh, them? So can, is that appropriate for me to say? Oh well, yeah. Okay. So remember, if you if you want these clothes pins, you better share the video. Y'all telling you. You better share. We can't the video. really say share the video. We say sprinkle the love. Sprinkle the video. There you go. Sprinkle it all over Facebook. And YouTube. 
was trying to teach Jordan about the uh, Facebook al algorithms and the Facebook terms of service. This is Jordan's. It's got a little arrow pattern on it. That's cute. And we might just need to make in that set one that's just plain glitter. Okay, we're not gonna sand those though, so I'm gonna finish. I need this back. Hey now, look, it's the uh, three twin brothers. I know, they're cute, huh? The three twin brothers. So tell us, give us some ideas. What have you guys been doing to pass the time? while you've been in quarantine. If you've got littles, or even if you don't have littles, like what have you been doing? Have you been watching something really good on Netflix? Have you been hiking, doing something outside? Have you been, have any of you done the little bear hunt thing that's going on with the bears in the windows? What the? The what? Maybe. Maybe. Don't say it. I know. We, believe it or not, even during quarantine, have been really busy working on different projects, which we're super excited about. Okay. Hey, Miss Kim, I have a question. So, you say glitter is bomb or glitter is nuke? It's radioactive. Glitter okay. is bomb or glitter is new? Watch out, Bob. Be careful because, okay, move your drink over, please, so it doesn't get spilled on what we're doing. All right, so I'm just continuing to get a rough edge on our paper ones. Oh, yeah, I got to do that. Rub this off. Where? Where's the thing? Oh, you had it. So we're... Okay, we're not doing it on the tape. Nana did yours already, see? Huh? So we don't want to do it on the tape because that's not like paper and it's got glitter on it, so it's not going to distress. Those are just going to have to be like they are. All right, so you'll see on this one, I sanded. You can see how the edges are kind of roughed up just a little bit. It just kind of helps seal them down. This one too, just kind of roughed up the edges there. So now that that's done, I'm gonna just do a little bit more. You don't have to do this, but I have my ink pad and I'm just gonna kind of ink around the edges a little bit just to give it a little dimension. And it's also um, just gonna make it kind of add to it a little bit. Hang on. Just a little extra dimension. You don't have to do this. You can do it with a marker. You could do it. Um, oh, hang on. What, Bob? So you know how you said dimension? Uh-huh. If we were in an alternate dimension, then this would go wrong. It would go wrong. Yeah, because alternate dimensions are always the opposite of what's happening it, in this dimension. It is? That's mm -hmm. crazy. Okay. So you'll see on that one, I just inked around the edges just a little bit, just to give it some dimension. Hello. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our um, glue. Well, I'm going to do that at the end. Hello, Miss. Hello. Go ahead. Oh, no. We're going to flip them over. And what I have here, do I have one of these? This one's already open. I have these magnetic tape strips. You can get these, again, any craft department. I had these on hand, but um, you can certainly order them online. And what it is, it's a sheet, and then they break apart like so. They break apart into a little strip. And so then what I'm gonna do is take, and they've got um, the adhesive backing, which is gonna be great, but we're also gonna add a little bit of glue. So what I'm gonna do, because your clothespin is pretty narrow, is I'm just gonna cut off, I don't even know, I guess I would call this a quarter of an inch wide strip. I'm gonna do two per clothespin just to give it, now this is not gonna hold up anything heavy. It's gonna hold up like a photo, like a four by six photo or a grocery list or something like that on your fridge. Yes, sir. Hi, Miss Gracie. Hi, Miss Kim H. <gasps> Miss Kim. Hey, Kim. Kim lives all the way in Wyoming. And do you know that right now it's snowing in Wyoming? 
Did you That's know? Crazy did enough. you know that humpback whales travel to Wyoming? I bet in Wyoming is not near a oh. sea. Oh yeah. You're thinking Washington. No, I'm thinking. No? I thought Hawaii. Oh yeah, no. Wyoming is up near um up north near Canada, I think. Can I break this? I don't know. Are y'all near the Canadian border, Cam? Are y'all that far up? Forgive me for not remembering my geography. I know you're up there. Now, can I rip this? Huh? Or break no, this? don't tear that. Okay, so what I'm going to do um, is take, uh, I put some hosh, or Mosh Posh glue on the back of my clothespin. I'm going to take one of the little strips that I cut and I'm going to put one kind of midway. And then I'm going to take another of the strip. And put you're putting the sticky side down onto the glue and that glue is just gonna help that stick you know just help it stick you just kind of hold them down for a microsecond and so it's gonna look like that on the back and that's what makes them a magnet oh I want to write this so bad huh? don't break it I mean how come you got to break well I was using one though well, no, right. can I do this next one? No, I've already done it. Oh, you want to break... You can break this. Oh! But don't peel the paper off. I'm sorry. I misunderstood what you were asking. Okay. Um, they're 12 hours from the border. They're not that far north. Are you under Montana? That's... Or North Dakota? The Dakotas? I'm um, going to get a geography lesson out of this. Is that supposed to be, like, midday? Yeah, that's midday. What are you talking about, Bo? Twelve hours. Mid. <laughs> yes, that is midday, Bo. Noon. 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 On a totally unrelated subject. All right, so we're gonna glue this one down. They're Did under Montana. Ah, do I get points for remembering that? Okay, let's put this over here so we don't break it. <gasps> Hannah Montana. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. All right. The billionaire. This does not take long to dry at all. And may, so then. May yeah. I be excused, Professor? <laughs> yes, you may. And so there you have it. There's our little cute little clothespin magnets. That's the front, those are the back. That's what makes them magnetic. And then these turned out super cute. I'm gonna have to glue the magnets on the back of these. I think I like this gold glitter set even more. I have to do one more. But look how cute those turned out with the glitter. Super cute. So we're gonna do one more so, and we'll finish this set. So we'll have two sets of four to give away. If anybody wants some cute little clothespin magnets, we'll send them to you. Um, just sprinkle um, the video all over Facebook. Um, that was pretty much it. That's all we're doing today. I'll wait till he comes down and we'll finish up this craft. Um, and then, yeah, I gotta start supper here soon. These people, I tell you what, they eat. <laughs> So we're gonna do that. Um, exciting, I'm super excited. I don't know what projects y'all are tackling while y'all are stuck at home, but like I'm trying to systematically clean out all my closets and organize things. Um, in addition to working on orders for LA Graces, um, which our shop is still open. Our Etsy shop, if you wanna head on over to lagracesattic.etsy.com and order some gifts we can ship gifts out to the recipients from you you can do a gift tag kind of a situation we can do, make that happen for you um, so yeah we are still creating as long as we're able to buy supplies and anything if there's any type of issue with any orders we'll work with you on that and keep you informed on that but right now we're still a green for go and we are trucking right along don't forget we also do um, sign kits if you are looking for something for your kids to do we can sell the uh, sign kits individually uh, for you we even have a so sorry squirrel <laughs> we're right outside the window and I thought somebody was coming up the driveway um, we could do the individual kits which they will get 
um, a sign that's already sketched. It comes in different sizes, 10 by 10, 12 by 12, or 12 by 24, I think. Um, the sign will already be sketched and it comes with the paint and the brushes and everything that they need. Or we can do party in a box for multiples of five or 10 people. And uh, those are a little bit, you know, we'll work with the price and customize everything for you. You can pick your own desi design or we have subscription plans for Paint Kit of the Month. So just message us about that. We'll get more information or you can check it out on elliegracesattic.etsy.com. Um, so if you need something to do, let us know. We'll work with you and make that happen for you. But um, let me know what you guys are doing during the quarantine. How are you doing creative time with your kids? We hope that by us sharing our time with you that it's inspired you to just get creative and have fun. Whether it be going outside to get some vitamin D. Kim, I know you can't. Kim Harvey, you can't really do that right now because it's snowing. And pretty cold there so how are you staying creative with the kids or what fun things are y'all doing we'd love to hear from you guys um, what you're up to and how you're coping with um, I don't want to say coping because it's a joy to be home with your family and be safe with your family um, but how you're just adjusting to the new schedule your new normal so to speak so we'd love to hear from you on that but I did want to tell you some exciting projects that I have coming up. Um, not necessarily crafting like this, but um, I have been wanting to recover my bar stools. So I've ordered some material and I'm going to go live and we're going to do it together. Um, I'm going to show you uh, the material I picked out and um, we're going to see if we can't make that happen. And uh, let me put my glasses back on. I see somebody typing. <laughs> Miss Kim says she is cleaning and purging. That's awesome. It's a and, good time to do it. And yes, sir. And her family lives in Montana on the border. Yes. And yes, a that's pretty country up there when it's not snowing, right? <laughs> um. Anyway, so we're gonna recover bar stools as soon as that comes in. Hopefully in the next week. Um. And. I have been wanting to kind of repurpose some furniture for my art. I have a loft where my art room is. And uh, right now I still have boxes up there. I think I confessed that the other day on a live to you guys. I still have boxes from five years ago when we moved in because we haven't quite decided what we want to do. You know, when you want to do get started on it, there's always some other house project that kind of takes priority. So um, I really can't go out you know and hit the flea markets right now to get old furniture to repurpose but I did have an old curio cabinet that um, one of my friends bought and left it here and she said that I could have it and repurpose it so we are gonna get some chalk paint and some wax and we're gonna make some shelves it doesn't have shelves so I'm having to make a template and kind of figure out what I'm gonna do for the shelf situation and um, yeah we're gonna make that happen so that's gonna be an exciting project in the next couple weeks and um, see what we can do and come up with so it'll be fun so you guys again keep those ideas coming if there's a craft maybe that you've been thinking about that you want to try um, shoot us a message or comment on here and Jordan and I'll try it for you <laughs> We'll see what we can come up with, but, um, yes. Say hi to, drum roll please. Oh. Finister. Finister, Phineas, the Finmeister, our puppy's under the table. His name is Finn. Finny so Finn Finn. We always call him different things. I think he thinks that he's going to get food. I think because we're at our dining room table. And we eat there sometimes. We eat here every night. And so he sits, his spot is underneath the table right at Jordan's feet. And so that's where he's at right now. He thinks, we're at the dining room table, so where's my scraps, right? Something should be hitting the ground. <laughs> um, anyway, okay, so what kind of crafts are we going to do? We're going to do dot pictures next week, right? Yes. We're also going to show you guys how to use a photograph and how to make a dot picture, dot picture, 
Yes. And we might even do part one of crawling a Venus flytrap, and you can yes. get a Venus flytrap from Hobby Lobby. Yes, you can. Jordan is itching to get a Venus flytrap. But it's so only because... We might work that into science. It's only uh, to get rid of the stink bugs, yes, gnats. we have stink bugs and gnats that it's getting warmer, so they're out and about and occasionally find their way into the house. And So every, every time I find a... Uh, a stink bug, I'm just gonna, I can just uh, get it to crawl on my hand and then put and it on my Venus flytrap. Feed, feed it to the Venus flytrap. Yes. Okay. More to come on that. <laughs> Stay tuned. So, anyway, we won't keep you. We wanted to show you how to make these clothespin magnets. Super easy. Um, clothespins are not that expensive. You can order them online. And we use, and again, you don't have to do the magnets if you don't have it or can't get the magnet strips. You can totally just use these as cute little clips, uh, bookmarks, um, hang stuff onto, you know, you don't have to have, we have a cl the clothespin bulletin board, but you could even do just some string, um, you know, from one side of a room to another and hang artwork on it. So it's good for that as well. So just a super cute way to dress it up instead of just using a plain clothespin. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed our creative time today. Um, until we see you again, happy crafting. We love you guys. Stay safe. Keep those ideas coming. We'll see you soon. Hey. Yes, do you want to say bye? Sometimes Finn thinks he's three pounds. He does. Our puppy is 90 pounds, but he thinks he's a three-pound lap dog. So anyway, do you want to tell everybody bye? Bye, 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 bye. Bye, guys. Love you.